السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today I'll talk about few individuals who impacted my life positively uh, when I was young uh, at Al Halmiya. Uh, first one was one of our uh, relatives. Uh, her name was uh, Raga, and she was like my mother. She looked after me. She brought me up. She was defending me. She was taking me by the hand, and she was actually uh, an orphan from my father's side. And she had been brought up in our house till uh, she grew up and actually got married. Alhamdulillah. And now her children and grandchildren are actually. Uh, far uh, better educated from the university. And the second character is Ammu or his uncle called Abdul Fattah Salat al Nabi. Why you call him Salat al Nabi? Uh, he was the only baby boy on about five or six uh, girls, and he was from a middle class uh, family. And when he was born, his mother was extremely happy of his arrival, and she was actually throwing uh, uh, pounds here and there, some of them golden pound to the people in the, uh, in the area. So he was a spoiled. So he could not be able to complete his education, to finish his education, or even to go to education. And he became actually working in, in one of these workshops as a mechanic. Amma Fattah Salat Nabi used to come to visit us every month, and he never come to our house empty-handed. All the time he used to come to our house with his hand full of either banana, oranges, mandarin, uh, uh, vegetable, uh, cucumber, all, all these sort of things. And this is the, the, the value of the quality of an individual that being brought up in dignity and a very credible individual, in spite of the fact of his poverty, he never come to the house actually empty-handed. What I learned from him, the story of the old traditional and cultural stories about Zanati Khalifa, about uh, uh, the beautiful girl and uh, uh, the, 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 like the beast and the beauty, something like this. And he used to come and tell me all this from the, actually, uh, the history of Egypt at that time. But actually, he was keeping his dignity whenever he came to the house. He come with his hand full of gifts to all of us. The third uh, uh, character which I'm having, somebody called Amma Sultan. Amma Sultan was from the Upper Egypt, from the South Egypt, from a place called Asyud. And he was at the age of 12 or 13. He decided to travel and leave his village and come to Cairo like most of the young people wanted to come to Cairo at that time. And uh, he was sleeping in front of one of the shops of my grandpa father uh, in Su Salah. And they found him and they took him and they were asking him where he come from. Then they looked after him. Then he became a man. And when he became a man, they trained him in the shop. They, they trained him. And my uncle, uh, Rahmatullah, with my, my mother's uh, brother, uh, fixed him to work in one of these actually uh, courts. Uh, to work as actually uh, a gates man to get the people inside and outside. Am Sultan, whenever he comes to visit us, or when he actually grew up and become an old man, with his wife, he always bring with him the best of the food that they have cooked for us or baked for us in uh, the city there. Uh, cakes, uh, dry bread, uh, old cheese, all these kind of things which come from the uh, villages and he and his wife used to come with this. The other one which is some relatives used to come to us from the north of Egypt which is my father's uh, side and from a place called Mahalla. Mahalla was the capital of industry, of weaving industry and clothing industry. And during the uh, uh, time of the celebrating the uh, uh, revolution in July the, uh, this relative of my father, uh, a lady, used to come with all the material she buy it from us and keep for us to uh, give us as gifts like clothes, material, uh, like uh, flags, like other materials to give it to us and bring her children to uh, Cairo to see Cairo and be staying with us in the family. My mother actually was treating everybody in an extremely very, very, very uh, uh, good uh, relationship between her and my father's uh, family and my mother's family. The last but not least was somebody 
who was loved by everybody in the family, whether my mother, my father, my, my sisters and others, and her name is Umm Tasali. Umm Tasali was a so kind old woman looking after her uh, blind uh, brother and his wife. And we were dreaming that actually to come and live with us in our house when we move from Al Hilmiya to Medinat Al Awqaf from Hansin. But she was looking after her uh, brother, her blind brother, and unfortunately she died after he soon after he died. So the presence of an old woman inside the house or an old man inside the house with the young people is extremely crucial for the good upbringing of the young children. At least they learn from those individuals the culture, the heritage, the values, and the morality. And, and actually, this is what actually I have been learning from this. Why I'm keeping saying all this? Because I'm trying to tell each and every one of you it's extremely important to respect the dignity of all those people who have their impact positive impact on our life. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please press the notification bell and share the video with your colleagues and actually try to uh, subscribe.